In fact, that's why we've not recorded for one week. Oh. Stop it. You're good though? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> the pressure of okay. being single. Okay. Singleness is not a disease. A disease. Mm -hmm. Singleness is not a sickness. Mm. Very important. And singleness is not something to be ashamed of. Honestly. Do not ask a single lady, why are you still single? And I dare say, do not ask a single guy, why are you still single as well? And you know how I know they don't really care because it must always be in a public place. But let us help you, right? So what can you do in this season when you're facing this pressure? We did not say it was easy, mm -hmm. but waiting for any good thing is never easy. Mm. And let me give you one last nugget, singles. The next time a married folk says to you, why are you still single? Your response should be, the same reason why you're married. guys welcome back welcome back to our channel welcome back people i go by the name ayo and i am okwe and together we are called ayo okwe welcome back ladies and gentlemen yes yes how yes. y'all doing mm -hmm. did you miss us we missed you yes we did actually and we are happy to be here we are if you're new to the channel and you're wondering who are these beautiful people who is this beautiful couple you know who's this fine girl and this handsome man uh we are certified marriage and relationship coaches okay we've been married 11 years believe it or not mm. okay even though it looks like we are newly newlyweds mm -hmm. we're not newlyweds. I'm, taking care of you. I'm looking after her yes. even though now she has one pimple just ignore that spot because of the stress of of Ayobami, you know, because he had quite a few, so I said, Let me take on one. Which and you know, have. as a good wife, let me. I took on one for his baby, Now I'm regretting, baby. I've got many problems and many issues, <laughs> but the people ain't one. one. <laughs> <laughs> now, this people got me feeling like a teenager, but it's okay. Man, it has actually been there for like, in fact, that's why we've not recorded for one week. Oh. Stop it, <laughs> Stop it. but it just popped up out of nowhere, it is, isn't it? Yeah, well, right choice of words, isn't it? Just popped up. When was you overthink something? No, as in a pop, pop in the pimple. Now you are overthinking. Okay, sorry, I thought you were dirty. thinking something. It's disgusting. So that pimple, please just ignore the pimple for a second. <laughs> just look from here up. Just ignore this. <laughs> you know, it's part of life, you know. When I got the pimple, Ayo was making fun of me. But the thing is, when he gets his pimple, I'm going to do the same. No, I don't do pimples. All oh, right. So yeah, welcome you back, guys. <laughs> you do <laughs> scabies. Scape. <laughs> I remember the first time I heard of scabies. Oh uh, my gosh. God. Anyways, let me not, di let me not scabies digress. Scabies is like, like, is that like crocro? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's a skin disease as a result of not bathing properly. So how did you hear about it? It's from brothers in my school. Like, oh you know those God. days, second Oh, school. no, that would irritate me. <laughs> that would actually irritate me. Anyway, so let us dive into the video. We've talked about scabies, we've talked mm, about rashes, we've mm. talked about pimples, but that's not what we're here for. Okay, so we are certified marriage and relationship coaches. Mm -hmm. We've been married 11 years, ladies and gentlemen, blessed with three beautiful girls okay and you know we just come on here to share about our love about our yeah. story and to tell you that god has been helping us he really and has. to show you how god has been helping us that's literally what we do here mm. okay so if that's something that interests you make sure you like share you subscribe to our channel okay yeah, if you yeah. need coaching reach out to us coaching at iopeddavis.com you need counseling it's counseling at iogmeddavis.com if you want to book us for your event it is bookings at, at iogmeddavis.com and i think there's one more i can't remember but go on the website okay? yes so let us dive into what we have today apart from the people though baby you're looking beautiful as usual i love baby, your that's hair nice no you're supposed to say even with the pimple not Let apart me from the pimple even with the pimple what in my in fact, in fact what is a pimple like People ain't got nothing on you, bro. Well, evidently so, it has. It's got the whole of my chin. Even with it, and just making your chin look, you know, <laughs> to balance my forehead, that be. <laughs> so even with the pimple, baby, mm -hmm. you're looking exceptionally beautiful. I like your hair. 
Thanks. I don't know what inspired you. You've never done a color like this before. I haven't, but I said, so, let me switch it up. And I feel like that's one of the key things, you know, for ladies out there. You need to switch things up. Don't do what your husband always expects. Eh. Show up in a new way. Okay, Give I him go, a new flavor I go of you. Do you go try him. <laughs> Give him a no, seriously. Give him a, a new, new flavor. flavor. Let him see a new you. So when she came into the to the house and I saw the hair, I almost didn't recognize her because no, you've never, never done any any no, baby, gold we're, or brownish we're type so of hair, cheesy, isn't it? Yeah. So before we used to tell each other what we're gonna do to our hair, our beard, and things like that, we used to ask to each other, "Oh, what do you think?" That was like in the first maybe two or three years of. But marriage. now me, I, I've stuck to my own one type of beard. Yeah, I know and you me, like it, isn't it? Yeah, I love your I love your um, beard like this. I actually like it. Ladies, if he ain't got a beard. Counseling. I'm joking. I'm not. <laughs> no, but okay. No, no, no. So now I actually try and surprise you with my hairstyle. Mm -hmm. and so I'm like always like, and I'm always like, so what do you think? And this guy, he's a bit too honest sometimes for my liking. He'll be like, sometimes he's been like, oh, I'm not feeling it, no, but no, you no. like it. You've had one. There was one bad surprise that you gave me, and I think you had the hair for like a week, and you took it no, off. No, I, I took it the same day. Oh, it the same day. Because <laughs> I was already upset with the hair. <laughs> the curls were giving Jerry curl. Maybe we need to do another episode about hair. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not here to talk about hair. Neither we're not are we here, here to, to talk, talk about, about hair. Things. You know, we do. Ladies and gentlemen, in continuation of our series, mm -hmm. Precious and Pleasures, mm. we bring to you the part two of the series. And today we are talking about the pressure of being single. Mm. Okay, so in the part one, we talked about the pressure of being married isn't it yep so if you've not watched it make sure you go and watch it okay because married folk face a lot of pressure they do all right so we dealt with the pressure of being married and we also talked about you know we gave a few nuggets okay so in the same way we're going to talk about the pressure of being single and also give you a few nuggets on how you can navigate yeah um these pressures yeah yeah okay yep, so yep. where do we want to start from the beginning let us start from the genesis okay so i I'll think, hand over to you yeah i think first and foremost we have to definitely understand that depending on the culture depending mm. on your age depending on you know what type of background do you have the mm -hmm. pressures are different pressures are different but can i even just say that based on that that let us even just establish something that singleness is not a curse 100 percent singleness is not a disease a disease mm -hmm. singleness is not a sickness mm. very important and singleness is not something to be ashamed of mm. okay let us just put that out there and it's funny that you just said sick you know we just snickered a bit when we said singleness is not a disease because it mm -hmm. sounds funny but people actually do drop their friends when they're single hmm. you know married people might say ah Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't. You know, I'm married now, mm -hmm. so you know I have to be with my husband. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Disease. And maybe we should even just start from there. That first of all, there's pressure from married folk. Yeah, married folk. No, sometimes we be doing the most. Mm -hmm. We actually be doing the most, like mm -hmm. making marriage feel like it's some sort of upgrade. Mm. <laughs> and then when you're making marriage feel like it's an upgrade then you make the singles feel like they are disadvantaged yes okay and that's why so you're single i'm married i'm better than you mm -hmm. many are married folk that are suffering mm -hmm. many are married folk that are not doing well mm -hmm. many are married folk that are sad so not every married folk is actually feeling like i'm married and do you understand yeah so let us just get this thing right and let's be mindful you know mm -hmm. sometimes the comments that we make i know it's you know some people might say but i'm married and i'm happy and i, mm -hmm. I like to sh but the, i like to show my happiness they're showing your happiness and then there's flaunting it hmm. you know deliberately trying to make people feel bad or not so good because mm -hmm. they don't have what you have mm -hmm. you know so let's be mindful of our words let's be considerate of others yeah you know ne you should never whether single or married want someone else to feel like they are not as good as you because they're not in the same position as very you. important and even just on this so what we're saying is that singleness is a blessing it really is marriage is also a blessing exactly singleness is a gift from god mm -hmm. marriage is also a gift yes. from god yeah. okay now the gift that you receive when you're single you need to use that gift okay 
and use yeah. it to the fullness. Okay, the same way marriage as a gift, you need to use it to its fullness. So going back to your point about the pressure from married folk. Mm. Okay, so let us just dive into that a bit now because. In my mind now, so maybe some married folk don't actually mean to. Of course, they to, don't, unless they're wicked. To put that pressure, but we know those ones that do it intentionally. Yeah. But I want to debunk the thing that says that when you're married, you can no longer have single friends. Yeah, that is. Because to I feel like that is the pressure, and that's why some married folk feel like, oh, I'm now married, so our thinking is different. different. Uh, the things that we do, our activities are different. I'm now looking after children. Mm. You're still looking after your. Do you understand? And I feel like that has destroyed friendships. Mm. It has destroyed relationships. It has even destroyed relationships within a family. Yeah. So where you see brothers who can no longer relate yeah. because one person is married or sisters because one person is saying, I'm, I'm, I'm married and yeah. you're single. Yeah. The thing is, your priorities may be different. Mm. Maybe in the sense that maybe, okay, you might, okay, let's put a practical example you might have to get home because that might be the night that you are, your husband's coming home late. You mm -hmm. need to make sure the house is in order mm -hmm. and cooked, yeah. food cooked or whatever. Mm -hmm. Priorities may be different, but I do not think your thinking will be different. Yeah. I would believe that you're friends with that person because they are also a good person. They wouldn't, exactly. they wouldn't want you. They wouldn't be like, ah, oh, stay longer. Shibi can mar manage by himself. Mm -hmm. They're your friend for a reason. Exactly. So I feel like, so whilst we're addressing the married folk and saying married folk, listen, don't put pressure on the singles mm. and don't discard relationships just mm. because you now feel like you're married. Yeah. You made a very key point there. So I feel like the reason why a lot of singles actually take offense to their married folk saying things like, oh, I have to go because I have to go and prepare food for my husband. Now you need to understand that if that person says, I need to go home to look after my children or prepare food for my husband, they're not necessarily saying that you don't have a husband. What yeah. they're just trying to say is that I need to leave now. So you as a single, you also need to be understanding yeah. and you need to build your self-esteem to the level where you don't feel like any conversation about marriage or mm. husband or children is an attack against you yeah very important for singles to note you're also interpreting what the the married folks say as an attack Something against else. you yeah right so you need to work on your mind you need to work on your mm. own self-esteem yeah so that you don't feel like they are trying to belittle you yeah okay the pressure of being single. single okay so i feel like another pressure point of being single and mm. this might apply more to ladies hmm. than men is your internal clock your biological clock hmm. in biological the sense clock. that yeah, yeah in the sense that as a woman we know that there are certain things that happen in our body for us to have children mm. and there are also certain things that you know our menopause for it for instance that say that we can't have children anymore. Mm. And when you're working towards that, remember science has already told us that it's usually around a mm -hmm. certain age. Yeah, around so the age you, of 45. 45, yeah, yeah, 45. Something we didn't have as early as 40, that's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. you're approaching that age, mm -hmm. automatically your mind will be telling you, I don't have time. Mm. And in fact, the, the, the thing is, there's so much, um, uh, what's it? Can I say progress in science mm. that you can actually, you know, bypass these things? I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've spoken to people where they've talked about freezing eggs, mm -hmm. but some people just want to do it according to their internal clock. Their yeah, internal clock. So, and the yeah. thing is, that pressure is very valid mm -hmm. because you can't run away from it. Unlike mm -hmm. the other pressures, you actually can't delay it. You actually can't ignore it. Mm -hmm. You actually can't say, oh, anyway. Well. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you're approaching the age of 40 uh, or 45 or that menopause age, mm -hmm. you're already thinking, my clock is ticking. I don't have time anymore. And that is absolutely understandable. Yeah. Because you're actually feeling the pressure mm. now, not from any external party, not from the marriage folk like we talked about, but you're actually feeling pressure mm -hmm. from biology. Yeah. Because that's your biological clock. Yeah. And so a lot of singles under that pressure, I feel like decide they make some decisions mm. that are not usually the best. Mm. And I always say that a lot of the time making decisions under pressure 
usually not be your best decision yeah. and we've talked about that before right so it's it's so important that at that season where there's pressure especially from a biological clock that you're actually thinking properly mm -hmm. that you actually have good people around you yeah all right that are helping to sense check the decisions that you're making especially when it comes yeah. to your relationship because at that point you see a lot of women who are not even close to that age but they're already thinking about it they're already thinking oh my god what if i end up being 45 mm. and single and because of that pressure even though they're still 30 or still 32 or 35 mm. they just end up saying i must get married now mm. i must get married to the next guy I must have a baby. I must have a baby. I must have a baby. And then you have a baby for a deadbeat. Literally. A you have a spend. baby for a waste man. Yeah. Right? You have a baby for a man who is not capable of loving a child or mm. looking after you mm. and a child or a family, right? These are the pressure. What we're saying is that we understand. Mm. Do men feel that pressure? Good question. Now, men are also feeling the pressure. Mm. because that's the pressure from age as well in that i don't want to be 70 and my child is exactly 10. and this yeah. is the conversation that men are having yeah now, right saying i don't want to be 50 and still have a toddler mm. so whereas i think at some point oh men didn't really care and you know it was even it was even, it was a, even a kudos flex. to him it was a flex yeah. yes it was a flex that like, wow it was a flex but now you know a man a man that is in his 40s a man that is you know he's thinking oh my god i'm gonna be 50 right and i'm gonna 50 is the sort of the benchmark age that i've been hearing yeah i don't want to be 50 and then just have a toddler yeah so what a lot of men are doing as as well under pressure is they're actually having children outside of wedlock right mm. so there's men that are now just saying you know what yeah i don't even really care about marriage let yeah. me just have a child a baby mama so they have a baby mama so that's why that baby mama industry right is not, growing not industry baby it not in, no be work no be, it is. okay the baby mama community <laughs> no seriously like the baby mama baby mama thing is now actually a thing where there yeah, are some I baby see. mamas that actually don't even want to get married and there are some baby daddies that don't want to get married anymore so you're, we're seeing a lot of baby mamas and baby daddies just, again, let us just settle, mm. right? Either let us settle together and cohabit or let us just make sure that we are co-parenting. I'm still doing mm. me, you're still doing you. Mm. Because again, we don't really love each other. We don't really want to be there like that. That's true. But we want to have children. So let us come. We have the same goal of wanting to have yeah. a child. So, so let us come. This business agreement. And have a contract, business agreement, and they have a child yeah the pressure of being single so i feel like another pressure okay is pressure from well wishes okay well well wishes <laughs> so we have we see a lot of friends a lot of family mm -hmm. and well wishes again some mean well some don't really mean well mm. and they are asking questions mm. you know when right. are we going to see where is the guy mr man mm -hmm. where's the girl where is the lucky girl uh, let me see your hand your hand's still there empty <laughs> this, uh, this hand is too light this hand is, oh, where's, where's your rock where's your, oh, you know what marry like, exactly so first of all let me say something right for anyone who is asking these questions i think we need to normalize not asking any single honestly, person why they are still single honestly do not ask a single lady why are you still single and i dare say do not ask a single guy why are you still single as well no initially i think it was cool and it was to okay to ask the guy but let's even take it back a step you're asking a lady why are you still single excuse me is she going to put the ring on by herself mm -hmm. is she going to take herself to the altar sure, sure. so what exactly are you promoting that she should go on london bridge and say i'm available come and marry me and you know how i know they don't really care because it must always be in a public place it must always be in a public place in front of people like it's almost like they're setting you up to embarrass you like mm -hmm. you would know if mm -hmm. i was seeing someone yeah in fact some, some don't even say anything they just do funny things like time low we are waiting we are waiting waiting for time what? is going you know 
And you know, you just put unnecessary pressure on these people. And uh, you know what? The shocker is that there are some singles who are actually happy. That's it. Until one of these time watchers yeah. or well wishers comes to start asking them questions. They're content in there. They might even, baby, imagine someone who has been in a terrible relationship and she, she says, in this season, I'm going to be single. Mm hmm work on I'm myself work on myself yeah she now goes to one family function mm -hmm. and everyone is like to her ah when are you getting married you're taking too much time tolani mm -hmm. you're taking too much like how can you ask such questions so let us stop don't ask a guy yeah don't ask because again guys are also feeling the pressure you know i yeah. got on the train recently i don't know if i told you you know, I got on the train and shout out to guys that actually see us outside mm, and come and to say, say hello. Because we see some people that you're looking at us. Come and say hello if you know me from somewhere. Or you now see some people, some people will say, you look familiar. Excuse me, just say that you know us. It's okay. <laughs> that you look familiar, that's cheap. Stop using that, that you look cheeky. familiar. Because then now, for me as well, I now end up guessing. I'm like, but now I'm not going to be guessing. I'm going to say, is it the children's school? <laughs> so shout out so if you see us anywhere please come and say hello we actually don't bite okay i were actually very friendly so i got on the train and this guy walked up to me and he's like hey how am I? i'm like yeah I'm like, and you know, i shook his friend. hand like he was my friend and we actually had a good 20 minutes conversation on mm. the train because we're standing again i'm standing on the train i'm not a celebrity because usually i, I still saw someone yesterday she's like oh my god celebrity i'm not a celebrity i'm standing on the train if I was a celebrity, somebody would get up for me. But baby, Do you remember the day when we got on the you train? you tell them that you own the train. Come on, let's tell them now. <laughs> that we own a string of trains <laughs> in the UK. No, do you remember that day when we got on the train and there was this lady who was like starstruck. But oh, everyone on the train was now looking at us like, like, who are these people? Who are these people? Because <laughs> this lady was like, oh my God, how many of us She was like, do you want to sit down? Yeah, yeah, like, Jack. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So that's how I ah, in see. this life, be really famous. Not be famous. Be famous. <laughs> Don't be like, I'm joking. Well. <laughs> yeah, okay. So basically, yeah, so I got on the train with this guy and, you know, he was a single guy. We actually had a nice conversation and he was talking about some of these pressures. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was also telling me about the fact that what he's seeing is that the girls that he's attracted to, they have no values christian values mm. they are literally not christ-like so just a pretty face that, and i'm talking about girls in church that's what he told me he says, this is face. this is the issue that he's facing now and it says that then the ones who actually have the christian values and are actually living you know like christ yeah. and are good you know they are not attractive so they're not attractive to him to him so that's what guys are dealing with some guys are dealing with that now do you understand and he's now feeling the pressure so he was telling me about the pressure from his family pressure from because you know <sighs> he's like in his 30s telling me this telling me that and you know we just had a good conversation i encouraged him a little bit and all of that so the key thing here is that guys are also facing the pressure so mm. i cannot see a guy now and be saying why are you single it's not fair it's not fair because he's also in a position where i am looking i yeah. want this it's you a know, trigger point for them as it's well. a tr trigger point i want a good family i want a good wife i want to raise yeah. my children i want to go on holiday with my family i am tired of being single so initially so can tire of being <laughs> initially where did that come from I don't initially I'm right tired. it was just the single ladies feeling the pressure yes no is no initially that's what we knew because now the single ladies go talk mm. it's now that guys are crying out and saying guys are crying out we guys are, are actually suffering. feeling the pressure you know so guys again we can go on and on yeah so guys we're going to start wrapping up now um again we just wanted to talk about the pressure of being single so again you know um i'm sure if you can relate to this you want to share some of yours as well mm -hmm. um but let us help you, right? So what can you do in this season when you're facing this pressure? Right okay. On. Pressure from self, pressure from your biological clock, pressure from family, pressure from married folk, pressure from social media. We didn't even talk about all of these oh, things. Yeah. There's so much pressure out there, even pressure from the church. Okay. But oh, what yeah. can you do when you're faced with all of these pressures? I feel like you just need to remember who you are. Yeah. You need to remember your purpose right be so focused on your purpose yeah. that you're not even feeling the pressure mm. do you understand 
be, f- be so full of purpose uh, that your even your purpose is pushing away the pressure yeah do you understand what i'm saying so god has called you right for something specific he has given mm-hmm. you a specific assignment he has given you gifts he has filled you with so much passion fill yourself with all of this occupy your time with all of this yeah right and get to the point where it's like you know what yeah i know that all things work together for my good and everything will just fall in line and everything will fall in line yeah so in that biological clock will fall in line yeah. and we've seen testimonies you know even on our platform testimonies of people that are getting married after the age of 50. yeah do you understand and are having children and yeah. are happy yeah so what i always say is that who you marry is more important than when you marry so yeah. let us not allow the pressure from society from social media and all of these places to actually diminish our purpose to let it not minimize our purpose yeah so focus on you build you build yourself build your ministry build your mind build your business and the purpose that god has given you and you see that the pressure you don't even just you you'll just be getting on you just realize that i'm actually fine i'm not yeah. thinking about this yeah. thing anymore yeah do you understand and then in god's time it will make it beautiful yeah everything will be beautiful in god's time yeah okay yeah. and it's it's so funny that you said that because obviously as you're saying it people might think it's it's, it's not easy yes mm-hmm. we did not say it was easy yeah we did not say it was easy Mm -hmm. but waiting for any good thing is never easy Mm. you know it requires discipline Mm -hmm. it requires dedication yeah and just adding on from that i was going to say it also requires a godly community Mm. so this this purpose that we we need to focus on Mm -hmm. will be helped if we have a godly community a good community Mm -hmm. now it's not saying that you should do back to the married people what they've done to you mm-hmm. it's not saying that you should just be in a singles group mm-hmm. but a singles group is good mm-hmm. absolutely like-minded people like-minded a people group yes is actually good yeah having other godly married couples around you so mm-hmm. you see that you know what i'm waiting for i can see what i'm waiting for and mm-hmm. it's going to be good it's going to be worth the wait yes and so that you're actually inspired you are encouraged as well even as you prepare for the rest of your life yeah do you understand so i think i love that so get into community we were not called to do life alone alone right that's why i said it's not good for man to be alone so we need each other Mm -hmm. so don't isolate yourself yeah all right if you see one platform here they are doing something join make new friends network with these people right and do life together okay yeah and let me give you one last nugget singles the next time a married folk says to you why are you still single your response should be the same reason why you're married because they are married because marriage is a blessing and you're single because singleness Singleness is a blessing blessing. ladies and gentlemen with these few points of mine or with these few points of ours we hope that we have been able to to convince you you. and not confuse you Uh, that singleness is a gift and this is a season that you should be happy about happy, okay yeah. for many many reasons okay so if you require coaching make sure you reach out to us coaching at iopedavis.com and um, go on our website get some of our books resources mm-hmm. um that would help you that will bless you okay mm-hmm. we're going to be signing out just now but before we sign out one more thing we want to say new subscribers if you have not subscribed, hmm. you need to subscribe to this channel. Right now. Like now, now, now. now. All right. Very important. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Help us grow. Mm-hmm. Help the channel grow. You know. Um, share, the, share this video. Share this video if it's blessed you. Like mm. it. Put a comment there. You know, let the algor- algorithm. Oh. Even you know, if it hasn't blessed you, still share it. We must have that. Uh, it will have blessed. Come on now. Like, no, I feel like. You cannot leave this channel without a blessing. And, and I think I'm confident is in that as well. Yeah. So you cannot By watch God's this mercy, channel, yeah. um, invest in this channel, whether it's financially, emotionally, physically, or with your time, mm. and not get a reward for it. Very important. Yeah. Right. So again, if you want to be a blessing, be a blessing. All right. So a seed into the lives of your family members. Yeah. And of your friends oh and into our lives because as, well. as you say family members i, I was receiving as well <laughs> so are we not family members it's just true <laughs>
<laughs> all right let us sing our welcome song to welcome our new subscribers okay for those that have just subscribed old subscribers or previous subscribers or legacy subscribers sing along. we love you let's sing along together let's as we welcome yes. the new subscribers we're glad you came we welcome you we hope you learn a thing or two as you join us on this journey you through. say marriage faith is the life we are glad you we're glad came. you came we welcome you we hope you learn a thing or two as you join us on this journey through. you say Marriage, faith, and life. God bless you guys. We love you. But God, God loves, loves you more. more. We shall see you in the next video. Bye.